Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do another video for you. It's going to involve putting up a ridge line for a tarp and again using the night eyes figure nine carabiners to set that up. I'm going to go over a couple of different ways you can do this and then also so show you something that I found purely by accident that works with these as well. Uh, I've got a ridge line. I've got my little night eyes. I've also got my 12 foot by 12 foot Kelty Noah tarp. I'm gonna go over this real quick and try to show you how I set this up. Uh, I had to improvise. I've only got one tree in the backyard now. And I had to put a post up on the back of the beast so I could use it as my anchor point on the other end. Give me just a second here and I'll get you moved over here and show you a couple of ways you can do this hooking it up my uh, ridge line that I have preset has a bowling on one end usually I slip it around the tree feed it back through itself but I got to playing with these night eyes and figured out a couple of different ways I can do this without having to do that here let me show you now this is not going to be set up nowhere near as high as I would normally set this let me un do this real quick and get this ready oh. just pitch it out here on the ground behind me there's two ways you can do this usually I can take it around like that put a toggle in it and do it or I can feed my line all the way back through this well playing with these little night eyes again I come up with a, this. I can take this loop, feed it through just like that, bring it around and tie it in just like that. At that point, all I gotta do is bring it around here and hook it and it'll hold that way. The other way you can do this is you can take the night eyes itself feed the, your ridge line through here and loop it over and hook it that way and then either just hook your loop in here or if you've got a lot of slack to take up come in here and wrap it and hook it in just like that but either one will work. Either one of the two setups will work. Doesn't matter really which end this is on. I'm gonna leave it just like this. I'm gonna move you all down here to the other end. I'm gonna have to fetch another figure nine real quick. Give me just a second. All right. This end, as you can see, I just had to put a pole there to wrap it around. I've got a lot of slack here. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but I've got quite a bit there. So we'll get back up here to this. Pretty much on this end, you do the same thing. You can either feed it through like so and loop it over. and then wrap it that way to tighten it. Or you can put it on the other end. You can simply put a knot through it or a line through it with a knot on the end of it. Depends on how long your ridge line is. Like so. And then just pull it out tight and hook it to hold. Or, you can loop it on that end, like you did on the other side, come around, pull it tight, and just hook it like that. And hold it. Now, 
let me give get this tarp out real quick. I'll show you what I'm talking about with the other. I'm not going to do a complete setup on this tarp. I'm just going to show you how you can use these with your press it nuts. I know a lot of people when they sit up a tarp use toggles and so forth. And you can still do that. But this is what I have come across purely by accident just playing with these things. Oh. My tarp has a big metal loop on each end, but it also has the fabric loops as well. And pretty much what we're going to be doing with them is going to be hooking these into those fabric loops. What you do with these is the same as you would on the other. Feed it through the big loop, just like that. Come around. Now where this is tarred, it doesn't slide as easy as the other. You'll have to work with it and get it where you need it. And then, once you get it there, slide it in that fabric loop and get it over here. Now we'll go down here and do the same thing on the other end. Oh. I know there's a lovely shot of my wood rack in the back in it. Come through, over top of, like so. Work that knot back down. Hook that into your cloth. Oh, I'm gonna have to rework this end of it. I don't have enough slack. So. And that's the good thing about these night eyes, is they slide, you can move them and adjust them. Since I had to adjust it and ain't got a whole lot of room, I had to wrap it that way. But then, once you do that, you can slide your press it knot. As you see how that's holding there. And the same thing on this end. And then you can slide them, loosen them, tighten them, whatever. Back you up here where you can see. And as you see... It's got it pretty tight. Now, you've got this loose one here. If you wanted to, you could run your line through it before you tension it. Oh. If you were worried about it flopping before you tension this, you could put your night eyes in there and then slide that over it to hold it if you wanted to. Well, there's another quick video on how you can use those little carabiners. The more and more I use them, the more and more I think I need to buy about another half a dozen or so of them. I uh, hope y'all found this interesting. Y'all have a good day.